Welcome, in front of me is a Redmi Note 12 Pro and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So before I get started, I'm just going to quickly mention, you can see that the phone is locked. So I would need to draw a verification pattern to unlock it or obviously log in with a Google account. Now I'm going to basically do this as though I wouldn't know either of those methods. So for this, uh, you will need to start off by connecting to network, which I have already done, as you can see. So connect to any kind of Wi-Fi that you, for instance, have in your house. And another thing that you will need is a SIM card any kind of SIM card with a pin set on it, which is basically most of these, like some kind of burner uh, SIM cards that you can buy. They usually come with a pin set on it, so you can use those. Uh, obviously, if you have in your phone a SIM card that does not have a pin, you can go into the settings on an unlocked device and set one up through settings and then use it for this. So. From here, we're just gonna get straight into it. Gonna take off the case and pop out the tray. Obviously, you also need a SIM eject tool to get to your tray. From here, insert your SIM card. Wait for the pen to show up on the screen like it did right here. It's basically instantaneous. And instead of putting in a pin, what you're going to do is you're going to take it out. What will happen right now is the device will be, which I'm going to put on the case, the device will be stuck on the lock screen like this. So from here, what you want to do is swipe down, click on this icon right over here, the bell icon. Then we're gonna select app notifications. I'll scroll all the way down to YouTube. From here, we're gonna select additional settings in the app about help. And then in the search bar, you wanna type in two letters, D E. This will bring up an option as a suggested one. So delete, disable, and manage unused apps on Android. Select this one. And from there, simply select the step number one, tap to go to application settings. Once you have done so, you wanna start off by clicking right here under more, show system. And then you wanna start off by going to Android setup right over here. Select force stop. Okay, go back. And next thing you're looking for is Google Play services. Actually, I'm just going to make sure that there is no other Android setup. Okay, there isn't. So next thing, Google Play services. Right over here. So we're going to select those and we're going to select disable, disable app. It closes it off. That's completely fine. Find it again. Select force stop. OK. I'm going to go back again. And the next thing we're looking for is. Just quickly catch up. The next thing we're do looking for is settings. So just scroll all the way down. There we go. And come back a little bit till you find settings. Sounds. Settings, there we go. We have two different ones, as you can see right here and here. We are looking for the very first one. This one, it will have option like this one open. The other one lower does not have this option. So make sure you open up this one and click on it. From here, you want to navigate to additional settings, accessibility, accessibility mini, toggle it on, allow, okay. Now that we have done this, we will now hold, okay, we don't need to hold it, we're just gonna back out, I guess. 
No, never mind, we're not gonna back out. So yeah, we're gonna hold power key and volume up and then select reboot. So wait for the device to boot back up and once it boots up, we're gonna progress through the setup back to the well, checking for updates page. So we are automatically starting off from the network connection page. So let's select next. Give it a second, it's gonna be checking for something right here before it gives us the option to don't copy apps and data basically. There we go. So we're gonna select don't copy. And what will happen now is it's gonna be checking for updates, give us this just a sec, and then it goes back to checking for updates. So this is because our Google Play services are now turned off. So what we need to do is tap on this accessibility mini icon. We're gonna select Google Assistant. Settings should show up right here. Oh. I did when I pressed it, there we go. So you might need to repeat this several times, as you can see. Not every time it will give us what we're looking for. And I think I did manage to enable, yep, I did enable it. So as you can see, it automatically went to the next page. There was a enable button for the Google Play services because that's what we're accessing right there. Once you press on it, there is a couple of things that might happen. It might open up a different page. Then if it's not showing you this page, press back once and it will automatically then progress to this page. If you already see this page right here, then that's great. You don't need to do anything extra. Just select more and accept and go to the next one. So this will now allow you to finish up the setup. Now, as you've seen, it took me a couple of tries to get it uh, well, enabled. That's completely normal. Just keep on repeating this process till you uh, succeed in enabling the Google Play services. It might take you anywhere from a like couple of tries all the way to well, a couple dozen tries. Uh, so don't get discouraged. It's just kind of random. If you're doing what I was well, doing myself, then you're doing everything correctly. And it just takes a little bit of patience to get it enabled. Now, once you have access to your home screen like I do, you want to then select settings about phone and then select factory reset, erase all data, factory reset, and then wait 10 seconds here before we can tap on next and another 10 seconds before we can confirm by tapping on okay. And the reason you want to do this is when you perform a factory reset of the device through settings, like I'm showing you right now, the phone is basically forcing itself to remove any kind of protection from it that will include the pen pattern passwords any kind of screen locks along with the google accounts now i'm not gonna go over this reset on the video just because this is just once you click on ok it's fully automatic it goes through the reset once the reset is finished you are taken back to the setup but at that point the setup uh, is just a typical one so you can go through it however you want it will act as a brand new device at that point so you can skip connecting to wi-fi if you want to uh, you don't have to verify anything so everything is there as an optional choice there so yeah anyway uh so like i said just press on that ok button to fully unlock the device now with this being said if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching